working on being the first legal rotary in the shop that I could drive on the street with its own plate, not having to swap plates around, and if I get pulled over, we're good to go. This is the start of that. So I got a moving permit. All I need to do is now just smog it, take it back to DMV, get a VIN verification, and she is good to go. I already paid all my fees and everything to get in the state. We pass smog. Reliability right there on the way. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I this is finally gets his moment and I just stole it from him. <laughs> so this only proper we have so we have it on top of the three order because this is this ghost. This is a part of the full circle. With this week being how crazy it is, I think it'd be kind of embarrassing to take the RX8 looking how the RX8 looks. So ever since I was a kid, I've been wanting something this color. Ooh. Oh Ooh. Ooh. Isaiah could be our YouTuber of the week, uh, be the automotive YouTuber I can't be, and stand in front of his car and be like, new wrap color unveiled, and then of course we gotta black it all out. That could happen. That could really happen. You got like this? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then how do you, can you pull back? Yeah. Pull it like a foreskin? Oh. <laughs> that actually, that yeah. That is pretty. That's got a nice like angle color to it. It changes that, colors. Did, and that's why I wanted this too, because for the RX-8, it has all those weird, like Erica said, it looks like a, a skinless face. <laughs> that is pretty. And so that's what, the 3M's 2080? Yeah, 2080 Satin Cal Copper Canyon. Orange is my favorite color. When I was a kid, my dad had this EF hatch, and it was sunburst orange and had carbon fiber and bronze. And ever since I knew more about cars, I've always wanted that. And I think this is just one step closer. That was good. Yeah. So we're going to have to borrow back into my old past of doing automotive detailing and Expel wrapping. And we did a lot of vinyl over our time. The 2080 series is really nice because it's like the 1080 series, which has those little channels in the background. So it makes you look really good getting all the air out of the back of it. At the end of the day, his car has a lot of clear coat damage. And so we are actually going to do full ass, half ass way of doing it by taking a dual action sander and knocking down the clear coat like all that crud on the clear coat, which is the clear coat itself, making it all smooth, so that way when you go to wrap the car, it's all smooth. I have to do it. Are you ready? Grab this uh -oh. Uh -oh. I don't want to grab it. Grab it. No, no grab it, dude. You no, have no, to. No, grab, grab it. it. You grab it. I can't grab it, but I know it no, is. No, you grab it. Grab it, grab it, grab it. There you go. It's not, it's not going anywhere near my mouth. Look at that. There. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just said that. I said, oh, I just really lost control of it. So the best part about this, we were searching all last week and then we're waiting for a call back. You know, do you guys have this in stock? Do you have this in stock? Let me check the warehouse. Maybe they have another roll. And then I look online, something over in Riverside. Oh, it says available for pickup within an hour. I was like, let's see, order it. Maybe, you know, we're waiting for a call back to tell them, oh, it's not in stock or whatever. Literally, Joe went to go pick it up because he lives right next there and just, it was here next day. That, LA is the best. LA is the best. LA is the best. The channel carry is back. I've been driving this thing every day for like two, three weeks now, and uh, I haven't had one problem. I'm just cruising, cruising. Today, we're going to get all this clear code and all that stuff, all get all that off. Get her all prepped and ready to get wrapped. I should probably watch more YouTube so I would know exactly how to do this wrap video, but um. Freestyle. Yeah, we're just going to freestyle. Uh, oops. That's how it's done right there.
stuff from the distance, I was like, man. It's a sick ass color. This is quality, quality stuff right here. It actually looks pretty cool. Ooh, pretty shiny. Beast. Oh. Look, look at the way it shines in the light. Touch it. Ooh, ah. That looks like those guys that make like camo by just cutting up tons of like spare wrap and then just placing them randomly all over the car. Well, this is carbon. <laughs> this is real carbon strands. <laughs> it's confetti. It's like the floor after New Year's Eve. Where is that going on the car? This, since you want to be negative about it, up your ass now. <laughs> uh, this is going to go on the the wing insert. Bees. Okay, as long as you do not, do not call it forged carbon, you just call it texture number 27, it's it's good as a texture. Same texture as my first one. <laughs> you, something's cut off from blood flow. So you're going to start off with, uh, with this. This is actually a really good one. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I don't see any seeds or stems on this one. <laughs> well, hi. That's made right there in the house I sleep in. That is delicious. No, I shouldn't have turned that around. Hey, 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 yeah. Just, just Good thing it. I can't read. <laughs> Let me do half. Cheers. Cheers. Ah! Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it electrocuted him. Oh, this is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's poop is not gonna be good. do here with the tools we have because this is not a detail shop is I'm basically taking any sort of wax any sort of like debriding the surface and I'll we'll probably have the guys run out and go get the clay bar so that we can just make it real clean you don't want to use spray wax when you're putting on wrap or expel because it makes it really easy to pick back up you can use like detailer but not detailer and wax so right now we're gonna go ahead and have the guys just clean the entire car I just took the whole hood down to about 800 grit and what I'm going to do is stop there because these sort of marks, depending on time, I want them to fill those. But if there's no time, the hood's ready to go. I've got the surface completely smooth and we can wrap it. Those little small spots, as long as we're very careful, don't really show up. Bigger ones will. If we're going to wrap this whole thing and you peel back the adhesive and you move it a little bit, it's going to pick up any shit from anywhere else on the car. We need to clean the whole car first and then go from there. Great for a little piece on your wing. That's it. Oh, I just ate two. I almost threw up. The Kleenex is going. Papa Dom, if you see this, I, I no longer have the box of Kleenex with me. And I'm going to give your son the honor of throwing it out because I know he loves to throw my stuff away. The buttons are like, you can reuse the buttons and the yeah, wheels. So the wheels fine. The logo is still good. Look, if you cut all this out, you can put the thing back together. The the throwing a fit, dude. Have you seen the other one? Uh, the other one's brand new. They're starving RX-8s in Africa. <laughs> yeah. You should check to see if all the buttons do work, though. <laughs> yeah, all the buttons work. Volume up, down and down. Mode. Switch channels, cruise control on, off, over there. Resume this one. Yeah, everything's good to go. He's always reads his button. Looking good. All the way in and then like here was like pushed out. Ah. 
So even when I popped it out, it was like flat and then body line and then another body line. Uh, fucking Rob, dude. This is living like it. I want to show you guys how sick this is. <laughs> I got it, guys. Don't worry. Bill's not here. I, I, I'll take care of it. I'm pretty good at striking things I've heard. Now we'll hit it with a little bit more heat. It's crazy big. I did all this sort of stuff years ago, too. Not to say I was good at it then, either. that look great on camera, but in person, the customer want their money back. Okay, our eyes are bigger than our appetite. We were unable to get this thing completely wrapped, even one side of it completely wrapped. Life is life, but it still runs fully. Now, Isaiah has requested, the owner has requested that we do one modification that is absolutely required and critical, and I'm not sure I want to do it because it gives him an unfair advantage, and that is his 99 spec wing. So we're going to mount that on there, and he's going to have more downforce, he's going to have more traction. It's actually a pretty heavy duty piece. And again, we'll wrap this and make it, <laughs> we'll wrap this and make it look really good. Geo did the top part, but we've got to figure out where this is meant for this car, right? Yeah, it actually looks better on this car than my car. Are there are tapped holes in it? Heel coils. It looks half threaded. So what we'll do, because we have the advantage of having a markable surface, we'll just put studs in the bottom of all four corners of that. Shallow studs, <laughs> and then put it down and then just and then now we've got four holes to drill through. I randomly have these studs. I think they're from Nodder's uh, oil pan stud kit. I'll try and get them as low as possible. I can get the idea of where it's gonna be at exactly. And then look at this, we got nice little holes to give us the center of the hole. So the trick to this is actually, I'm gonna push it down make a mark and then if it's slightly off one side or the other compare the distances and uh, offset it from there so, <laughs> i cannot believe that worked i'm just gonna drill that's pretty on point yeah I chose the right guy yeah look at I used stud. Put them in there. Oh, you're it, so smart. I was gonna down. measure, literally measure. Dude, I just pushed it down, mm -hmm. and then I made sure both sides were about the same spot, and then used calipers to make sure it was even in the center. I'm gonna have to pop the trunk. Man, what a good judgment call. I, I would, I was so close to keep going. So I'll just hit it with the. Uh, wow, we don't even need that long of a bolt. No. This one, it'll warp a little bit, like uh, this part, but uh -huh. whatever. That. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna take the studs out of this thing and then basically just use little bolts and hold it up from the bottom. This wing sucks. It, the kid in me was like, man, $200 for a Sea West body kit years ago. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll have to do some work to it. I get it. It was like a Duralast or some shit like that. And my God, the adult in me knows better now. This is just horrifying. This is like a replica of a replica. I'm not proud, but I'm also very proud of this. Oh. Okay, uh, it certainly has weird spacing. It looks like it bowed out at some point and somebody repaired it. Because this whole part right here, that's, that's just the shape of this thing. It looks like it's spaced up here, it's not. It's completely flush, and if you start screwing even further, you're gonna screw stuff up. It's also bowed out, but I mean, look at that. That is held on 
But that's not the best part of this. You don't call it uh, forged carbon fiber. It's actually a really wild looking thing, especially for hot boy status. It belongs on the rest of this wing. Aerodynamics will keep it in the right spot. I'm gonna give him, what would that do? Yeah, I'm gonna do this to give him more lift. I wonder if God stays up in heaven because he too is afraid of what he's created and allowed us to create. I'm sorry, world. No, this is actually, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kind of wild. This thing's a piece of shit, but it's a very functional piece of shit. I would not trust it. You know, I'm not the owner. You're talking about shit on Texas 69. Like, that'll look good with this. That's the best part of the wing. Dude. It is the best part of the wing. Did you do the... I did it for the base. I can't make the same promise about this. That's not going anywhere, bro. I was gonna set it up so that way it was gonna create tons of lift. Your rear wheels would fly. No, well, just, it would have flew off and then hit your windshield. No, it would have. I, I, I have it both so beautifully to the trunk, it would have picked your back of your car up. Oh, wow. Yeah. I know aerodynamics really well. Yeah, no, go back there and see the, the, the car. This is your car. I'm just your mechanic, you know? It's you. We're getting back to wrapping this thing today. Uh, it's been kind of cool seeing out in the sunlight, just looking at it. Like, I, can't, I just haven't been waiting to wrap the whole car. It looks so good. I'm trying to get my dad over here to help us with the tinting and whatnot. Since it's been so cold, and today is actually the warmest day of this week, um, I went and bought a space heater to help us with the wrapping a little bit. Because I know it was hard for you last week, or last time. Yeah. We tore the vinyl, it was terrible. I'm trying to make life easier for everybody. This is oil filled. I don't know if you can hear it, but it, it is. That's like zero weight. I don't know, hopefully, hopefully it's bobbling. Stock for stock, would you rather drive the RX-8 or like a FC? <laughs> I'm not getting in the middle of this. Yeah, I'm no, gonna stick no, my yeah, FD. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to tune his car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put some cells in there that are just <laughs> 40 degrees timing. <laughs> that tells me all I need to know. Oh, that, that, oh. That's, yeah. we're good, we're good. Oh. Close that door. Uh, yeah, places. cool. I was worried just a little, yeah. little subtle difference yeah. inside, like electronic, but I, the door itself I, was the same. I don't have that big dent down there, so uh, and, uh, we're good to go. Should we so peel this it, off? Isaiah, you're going to tint this window, right? Yes. You should just tint it right now. Yeah, yeah, just leave it off. Yeah, I'm going to take both windows off. I've been waiting for my dad to let me know what he's going to do, because he used to do tinting and stuff. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to let him have a small pleasure of tinting something. This door has a little dent in it right here. And rather than body working all this up, we just replace it with another door. Rich did his magic and it looks really good. And Gio's doing his magic wrapping it right now. So I'm gonna give Rob the actual pleasure of throwing something out from the RX-8. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do like the Greco-Roman like disc hurler. Oh yeah, dude. Okay. Hold on, yeah. let me I've been, I've been working out a lot. Let me switch to 60. I took off my helmet before it was stifling. So I could throw this at Xerxes. You can remember 300? Like, Okay, I'll tell you that. Okay, hang on. A little bit higher. I got around two. This is really, actually really heavy. I gotta get a nice spin going. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it is. Gotta get the, oh, got him. <laughs> He's gonna get <laughs> I, I can't let it go. I was gonna hit the car. <laughs> First take. All right, so I did have a problem with this headlight not working. So I think the HID had some wire things. So I bought uh, new HIDs to replace these HIDs, but this is the tint that was on there before. This is what it looks like off of it. And it just breaks apart, it's real weird and thick. So this is before and then this is after. So I got a little headlight restore kit, so I'm just gonna polish it up, make it look clean. And I have new HIDs and then I also have new high beams. So I'll put those in, we'll be able to see the world, you know? This little plastic piece, a little strap that goes around and gets locked into there is the reason why this thing, I guess, came out or backed out from this side. I'm not sure about this, I'm about to take it off, but 
This is the other one. This little, that's that's the only difference between these two. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the whole thing. This is off of a series one. This is the handle that came in the trunk of the car, which is for this car. But I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the whole assembly. This wasn't that hard. It's cause some, a lot of people don't understand how the stretching works. I stretch out a lot of things, okay? <laughs> and that's the handle almost pretty much wrapped. Look at you, professional rapper now. About to drop a mixtape. <laughs> Just needed my feature right here. I wanted to do, you know, a little session with Rob and he helped me how to rap and teach me like ha ha he he but I used to busy with other men and uh, Gio had to teach me how to rap and look at that that's there's little rocks behind the rap but that wasn't my fault okay I didn't mm -hmm. know that they were back mm -hmm. there. If I would have had help I would have been. I would ask for a refund if I was that customer. Well, good thing he doesn't buy shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> I almost mine and uh, Gio's struggle of the spring. You have to kind of preload that spring, but it's working now. And so this little piece, it only articulates that much. This is the only thing that's keeping it in there. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, super glue it just in case that we never have a issue ever again. That's not gonna go anywhere. How does that feel pulling it? Oh yeah. Beast. And the first time at whoever is on the passenger side, could open the door like look look at how sleek and orange this is it's just it's on there that has a door handle wow and get in and then you could close it it works so. it's not easy to come off so you're like this isn't going to be easy to come off but whoa <laughs> Like, not, this is like the headlight stuff, right? Yeah, this is not even real tint. Because the real tint will have glue on there. Funny, I have that same stuff on the driver's side window of the Insight, so that way if they ever go to pull me over, I'll be like, <laughs> No way! <laughs> Dead serious! <laughs> so as a weed lad, my dad used to run and manage like audio shops and tin shops when, you know, that was hot back in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah, that was, you know, the whole little hot boy thing, radio alarms, uh, alarm systems, and tin. He's always been into cars and kind of got me into cars. And so, uh, they, I kind of need some help tinting if you come help me tint. So, you guys have tinted in. What was the last thing you remember tinting? How old are you? I'm 25. 22 years ago. Yeah. Last part I probably tinted. Really? I'm not going to promise you the, the job I used to do back in the day, but we'll get it done. You just tell me that the window always has to be super clean. I've always wanted a bronze tint because this car had JDM windows, and as you guys see from the FC, they are bronze. And so, I've always wanted. The orange and the bronze combo. Have, have a light bronze to it too, factory, but not this. Yeah, see it's that? more like a greenish, no? Yeah, it was a, it's a white background, but if you look, it's a little uh, bronze. Oh wow. Okay. They have a lot of reflective bronze, and I don't want reflective where it's like, oh my god, they just pull him over, you know? I want like a, a light bronze tint where I also also want to block off the UV because in the Beamer I have like tint all the way around. And it's darker but it is UV resistant tint. So you could literally roll the window down, fill your arm baking and roll the window up and you'd be perfectly fine because it blocks off all the UV rays. So I ended up going with uh, building tint. So it has like nice bronze tint to it and it blocks out all the UV rays. It looks kind of reflective right now, but I think uh, once you put it on, it's not as, as reflective. That is sick. Do you, you see the bronze to it? Yeah. That actually looks very similar to the FC. The FC. That's exactly what I'm going You're for. You're trying too. to pose. I'm trying to copy. No, I, I told him his all his glass on the on the EF was all JDM. So it, it had the same tint that that's so cool.
You working on an RX-8 over here? <laughs> so yes, I am working on an RX-8. Am I happy about it? No, I am not happy about this. This is like basically the worst thing I can do is ever work on somebody else's car when I promised myself I would never work on anybody else's car ever again because I don't like working on anybody else's car. And it has the RX-8 and I don't even like the RX-8 and that's the car I want to spin on because it's not sweeter, Jesse. It's an RX-8 and it's Isaiah's and I have to wrap it. Thank you guys all for your love and yeah. support. This would honestly not be possible without you guys. I cannot express how thankful I am for everybody's love, support, comments on the RX-8. Cause without this, I wouldn't be able to get Rob to do this. But <laughs> the best part about it is that you guys like it. So he has to I like it. I have to. So th yeah, th there's no way is... around it like this. Here's the problem I have is I want to get this fucking thing out of the shop, but at the same time it needs to get finished. And I know that, and I know you guys want to see it. So I'm like, oh, I can't fire Isaiah. He's like too critical to everything in every part of my channel in my life. So I have to deal with this shit. I have to do this because if the car disappears, Isaiah disappears, I go nowhere. You got wrapped into a car. Yeah, I wish I did. <laughs> like, this is a problem is when you are actually competent and capable of doing a lot of things, you get good at problem solving. That is not going to work. One of the problems- I'm gonna wrap you in a corner. You get good at just generally being good at things. And I, I've, I messed up two or three cars when I first started wrapping. Generally, I'm okay at this. And so the problem is I told Isaiah I am good at this and I humble bragged about wrapping the back half of the four rotor in one night and then that got you here. So if you've learned anything, learn like my youngest brother did back when we were kids. And if you break the dishes, your parents will never make you do the dishes because they're just like, well, we'll just make your brother do it. That's the lesson that is that actually I've learned. really that, smart. That, yeah. That, that is, yeah. I, don't do that, yeah, that because then people are going to think you're an idiot and yeah. you don't want to be an idiot. Okay. Well, if you're watching this channel or watching this, you should not be an idiot. So you how to do this. So you how to do that. You guys should be capable, please. Be better than, what, was it Matt? <laughs> be better than Matt. You guys are lucky this is a safety razor. I could end my pain right now with if this thing was open-ended. I got a lose, lose, lose situation for me. Nothing good comes from this. It's a weird looking fender design. Yeah, well you know the truth to what I'm doing is allowing this area right here mm -hmm. to not be so stressed like too much material and all that shit. Because what's gonna happen is this area right here where the fender kicks in is gonna cause the shape to bend. The overall shape of everything you see here, this flat piece, is gonna bend. So I need enough room on the front and back side of the fender so that when the piece starts to bend, it's not like, oh man. I'm gonna make a dick joke. I want them to be like, oh, ha ha, <laughs> you know? I'm gonna go over to- You know, they've been complaining. The videos are too long, dude. You know, they That's don't complain the too long? Dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they, oh, I just, I just fucked myself over. <laughs> Just so they don't complain is too long. No, no, it's on camera too, isn't it? Yeah. There's a reason I closed my wrap shop. There is a reason I only went to doing expel. There's a reason for all that. You guys are finally getting to see that firsthand. I'm gonna think out loud, and uh, if I hear any suggestions or yes or no, I'd appreciate them. Ghost, this is. I'm gonna take off the film, right? Then I'm gonna stick it right here along this body line over here. Take the rest of the film off, heat it up, stick it right here in the middle, and then kind of go out from the middle. Um, and then hopefully that'll be the door, and it'll all be fine and dandy. If uh, if you guys think of anything, you know, let me know if that that's acceptable or not. What in the fuck are you saying? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that made absolutely no sense. How did that not make sense? I'm just joking. If you fuck this up, I will <laughs> laugh at you. Stick it straight across here, since this is a nice consistent line. Heat it right here, since this is the part that's sticking out a little bit. These will both pull down. This area will stretch open as it comes down it. Mm -hmm. These will go tight, and then you can pull the rest of it down. I'm good at that, you know, stretching it open in a tight spot. It's just the wrapping it. I'm, I'm not listening anymore. In like a split second, it just went like that. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> this was the easiest panel. <laughs> You've been banished. It's good, bro. I just... Oh, you got enough material to do one more. This is my second time rapping. <laughs> I can't lie. I, I did this and it took me quite a while and Rob was sat here for... Not even five minutes, dude. I just did this, like, did everything I just did. Good job. Thank good you. job. Probably wish you weren't that fast in bed, but you know. <laughs> I got lucky because this is, that's all that there is for vinyl left. This little strip, 
Wow. Is that enough for the bumper? Yeah, so we still have a bumper to do, but I said hold off on that. I know there's a lot of body work to the bumper, but I might want to get like the RE style bumper. It said they have it in stock like December 20 something, I remember now. So hopefully I'll check it tonight and they have it in stock. I could buy the bumper and I could get some more vinyl, which I think will probably what, be 10 feet. Yeah. This thing looks insane. Look at that. Rob hates me, but. <laughs> Yes, I do. You'll be okay tomorrow. Be okay. You know, you know how we get. That's, that's how I get. get. <laughs> you know, pissy. <laughs> the best part about this, I to, oh, you guys didn't film nothing about this. Dude. No, no, it's my secret. Look at this. I did film that. You didn't film it good enough. Then look at this. This is. Look at this. Doing my small little work on there. Look at this. Make sure. Wow, it's damn! Good. And that was perfect. Look how you got nah, you gotta like see it from like you gotta appreciate it from like over there get, get over there behind the trash can. Look at that. I'm the first car with a 99 spec quotations style wing. Look how beast that is. My favorite part about the whole car is this wing. No. You don't think so? You don't I, like, think I like the bumper more. The, okay, between the wing and the bumper, the bumper is very special to me because that's it's the four order style bumper. <laughs> Shine Auto style. <laughs> Touchdown! That's what that rear bumper is, <laughs> is right now. What the fuck was that? It's a fucking goalpost. It is. That's not a touchdown, okay? <laughs> yeah, don't touchdown. That's a you're... field goal. Yeah, that's not a field goal. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is. What does the ref do? When, when they score a field goal, yeah. Not when they touchdown. <laughs> Don't you have friends that play football in the NFL? Yeah, you have wow. professional friends. Wow. He's the kicker guy. No, that's <laughs> worse. That's worse. <laughs> the kicker is the big <laughs> right. I want everybody to give Rob a, like, a very, very thank you for this, Rob. I want everyone to say thank you because Rob gave us really good RX8 content. He did a really good job on, on the hard parts. Like He's just been phenomenal with the rapping. Like, just everyone just give him a, a major thank you from the bottom of your heart because I appreciate this. I hope you guys appreciate this. He doesn't appreciate it yet, but he will. When everyone says thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to put this to you guys, but the car looks like crap with OEM wheels and all super high. It's kind of off the ground right now, but you guys get the, get the point. I'm not gonna do a lot of you guys very proud, but it's gonna look good. It was months ago, Max Peden Rods reached out to me on Instagram. They're like, hey, you want these $100 sets of whatever Max Peden Rod coilovers for your car? And I said, yeah, and they've been kind of bugging me, but it's $100. Who, who really cares? So, but today is the day we unbox them. You ready to Max Peed? Joel's a part of the Max Peden Rods because he's a Honda guy. I, I've never <laughs> ran, I'd rather run on blow up, blowed out. Hey, blowers. I never installed them. They came with my car. <laughs> It was actually crazy how fast they got to me. They reached out to me when we went to go pick up the FC. And I was like, yeah, sure, that'd be cool. And then, you know, what's your address? Showed up literally the next day in the morning. And I was like, what? And I wasn't even home. Fortunato, if you see this, I'm just waiting on you. I'm ready whenever you guys are ready. If you see that. Fortunato, <laughs> please hurry. <laughs> this, is, this is what I'm stuck with. <laughs> so just to put in perspective, these are $152, I believe. In all honesty, you, for $152, you get exactly what $152 gets you. I think these actually go really low. I'm going to slam the fuck out of it. Before mm -hmm. I put these actually on, they're going to be the lowest setting that they are. And we're going to set them down. And that's going to be that. Why do they almost match the wrap? That's what I said. That's, that's, the, look, the, the wrenches even come the same color. The rings match. Yeah, the rings are, are on point. Yeah. Let me give you guys a real quick disclaimer. This has nothing to do with me. I'm yeah. allowing it to show up on my channel, partially because Isaiah kind of wrote checks his body can't cash. And even in the spirit of full transparency, if you get something free from a company, you still have to you know, like it's just it's just respectful. And even if it is a piece of shit, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm still a, I'm just pointing that out. I, that's my that's my thing. Is that it's in this video, therefore it's it's not me endorsing it, but it is on my channel. So I'm very aware that I'm not gonna let him take free stuff and then not show it on this channel all, all i had to do is put an instagram post okay that that's all then we shouldn't film this something else that's really interesting about the automotive aftermarket world and it's the sad truth of it is that you can have somebody like garrett motion you know garrett auto turbo whatever whatever their name is right now make a beautiful g35 1050 right and then somebody else can go take that apart measure it and get basically close enough 
and I want to say what 80% of the performance, maybe even higher, but it's a much cheaper, much cheaper materials and B, it's just not fair. Now I of course am guilty of that too, of, of like buying what I thought was the original and it was, ends up being itself the replica. It is the reality of the situation, but I like when something like Garrett, the product, the core quality product is made quality and it's got a guarantee and it's, it's designed and tested by engineers that I know personally. So just like this, when you talk to like Owens or Fortune Auto or any of the other companies, KW, you know that they've got really quality, intelligent people working on those. And then uh, something like this. I'm sorry that I'm running these. I, I will publicly apologize, but we need more low. So <laughs> they, they do serve a purpose. And one thing that I think is also important is the price is an allure. As of like two weeks ago, remember what it's like to have no money and like $100 gets you all the functionality that you're looking for. So there's a, a balance of good versus evil. That's why I wanted you guys to know that I'm letting this on the channel because it has a place. There's there's something about it. You could slap me if you want. If no. that makes you feel better, you could do it. I'll let no. you do it. Yeah. The rear we have from the tire. I think you do the center, right? I'm, no, I'm, I'm measuring gap. I don't care about the center. Okay. We have two and three quarter inches in the rear between the top of that tire and the actual fender. Over here, we have... About the same? No. Three and a quarter inches. Two and three quarter, three and a quarter. We're gonna get that down to dollar bill status. I got the little back plastics off and these kind of have like a little weird design. I don't know if you guys can see this. These two bolts actually bolt into the shock and then these bolt into like frame i guess mm. but then there's also like two more bolts i've actually never taken these out so i'm kind of curious to see a little that's a, weird yeah how's it going as fast as you were expecting you got them on no, I was trying to figure out easier ways to pull it off. Oh, it's not that really that superior a chassis. Not easy to replace. Yeah, it's not like the SC where it just falls off. You got this bolted in place. Are you worried about maintaining the uh, amazing alignment you have on this car? Or? That, that's honestly, yeah. I wasn't trying to take the ball joint off or anything like that. It's a slight struggle, but for good reasons. You want to do it the hard way. Me and Chris would have had that whole thing out, in and out, in less than time. I would have never ran again. <laughs> on the inside, and it was very disappointing. But, as a real one, you know you have to max these hoes out. They are max peating rods. Yeah, max is in the name. But that's that's as much as I could get this body going. Yeah. Okay. I mess with the vibe. Seventy thousand miles, brand new. Damn, that shit flew. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Did it go through your head? No. Oh my god, I thought I thought you were like about to like die. Where'd that thing go? <laughs> it landed safely in this bin. That's that's how Snap One does it, you know. I never use this little dicky thing. I think this is probably why I don't use it. Whoa, there's nuts on that side? Yeah, it's just one fill, but it's weird. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? Because I saw it going up, and I was like, what the hell? Jeez. Look how tall that thing is, dude. What the fuck? There is no reason for all this. That's supposed to be so normal, not elongated, and. That is crazy. So, yeah. Fuck you, you big dick motherfucker. Ooh. Bat, 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 bat.
guys see how high this upper A arm is just because these are so short and low now? That is actually insane. It's already pretty low even up here. <laughs> That's just tough, huh? Yeah. Yeah, the front's way too low. This is better than most people's swim in already. <laughs> I guess I put the other wheels on the other side, huh? Yeah. I like them. Not bad. Looking good. My man. <laughs> hey. Not bad for spare parts, huh? Yeah, dude, I'm liking this more and more. I think it's off the lift. Oh. Yeah. Stuck. Yeah. It looks the same, doesn't it? Kind of. I you guess I could, have, I, I could adjust uh, that body. Coming from? Yeah. We, we deleted all that. We deleted too much. Yeah, this is three inches now, so this actually went up. I thought you bought them that one out too. Yeah, but I could adjust the body in it. Oh. Uh, so I could adjust that body to go up. That's pretty right there. Robert, that needs to go up a little bit. And then that, for whatever reason, the rear raised up. But I think I, I could adjust the body to go up more. You know what that looks like? A certain RX-8 uh, drag car that I, when I see that front end sitting that low. Okay, this side looks like a PT Cruiser. What? Just, just look at the, I, I'm not, I didn't adjust, okay? I just threw them on and I excited. Like, I'll come back to the. That looks pretty good though, on no, there. You're gonna deny right? me how good that looks? How much, how much did you want for these wheels? I, I'll sell them to you. I'm not gonna sell them to you until you get your shit straight on the rears though. I can't. Yeah, I, 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 I got excited, I wanted to show you first. Okay, I, okay. I, gotta, I gotta raise the front, lower the rear, you know, balance the equilibrium. It has to be all. You saw that? I know you saw that. Yeah, yeah, that was. There's two reasons why I like this. One is it's unique and it's not the worst thing I've seen. But I mean, like I've seen a lot of RX-8s like online, and so this one, it's an identity. So I, I, I like that. I haven't seen an RX-8 with the R Magic wing with orange and the style from bumper. I always knew that the the orange with the bronze would be nice. This is a darker shade of bronze than what you have, but I think since it's a darker shade of bronze and it's a darker shade of orange than I actually anticipated, I think it actually looks really good together. The wheel looks cool on the RX-8. Yeah, I'll give it that. Yeah, so I maxed out this side, like I just is literally all the way it could go down, and then the spring hangs like probably like an inch, inch and a half of nothing in between it being all the way maxed out. So this is kind of the lowest I could go, which is still about a two inch gap. That's track functionality, I guess. Yeah, yeah, maybe it go down a little bit more. Let me, let me do the other side, but this, I'll show you guys. This is completely like maxed out. Dude. And that's max. I cannot go any lower. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Max beating rod, I, I talk too, too much. I got a one inch gap. So I lowered both sides to max and this is where we're at. This isn't bad. You see how it tucked in? Yeah. You see, there you go. If you look Wait. at it from the back, this kind of tucked in that way. So that way it's actually gonna tuck in and I could honestly, I could roll that fender, just a little lip up. So the gap between this and that are about the same. I need spacers. So Joe actually had the great idea though. They have uh, spacers at AutoZone and uh, White Knight, the wheel spacers. Let's see, what, what size is this? 5 16 thick. <laughs> we'll just throw these guys on and see, see how it looks. They have the rear all tightened up. Rear is the lowest it could go. I think it looks good. So I, now it's just what the rear can't go any lower. So that's going to dictate the front. If the front needs to go up a little bit, the front is fine where it's at. We'll see with these spacers. That's okay. Not oh, that this one puts it that way out there. You get twenty dollars worth of space. That, that's that's the best I'm gonna say. Yeah, dude, they look really good, but I, I need the work emotions to complete that that emotional sentiment I, I have to the car. Okay. Well, then does that mean you're gonna buy my wheels or? Yeah. Dude, how much how, how much you want for them? Hmm? Hundred dollars right now. Hundred right, right now. This second. Hundred dollars uh, right right now. Do I'm it. Not do it. Do it. Deal. Okay. Deal. <laughs> I'm gonna sell for two hundred dollars now. <laughs> <laughs> I I just don't understand why you don't accept my child. I've put a lot of love into our child. Our child is growing up. This one just says new. I mean, you can't say that it's not our child. The bumpers look the same, kind of. They're both Mazdas. 
I'm like, they're both wrapped. I wrap both of them. No, they're not, he's now my child. I cannot admit it. <laughs> Maury. <laughs> yeah, Maury. it's a DNA test. <laughs> Paternity yeah, test. Uh, I got you right now. You're a Vin. Let's see. J M F. J M one F two F three. Oh, you just put that out there. Yeah, just put that, yeah. You've done so many videos on that. J M one. Come on, dude. They both start with the J M one. That's. This is just. No. This is Hercules, crafted Hercules. by the gods himself into the dream. And that, that's... His brother. But Hercules had a brother? I'm sure. Stepbrother. This game is very rapey. Th th this could be a Kiwi, but the only thing I want to do is the engine. I, I, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you that one. I did something Billy's going to love me for. I put my undertread back on so it chops all that air. Kind of look weird because there's like just ground right here. And the radiator's mounted at like a 45 degree angle. So now I chop all the air that can go underneath. I had all these wires I had zip tied for whatever. All the clips are still there, so they go back into this plastic under tray that I finally put on. I just need to get some other basic plastic clips. I have some other plastic clips coming in from Amazon for the door, but these are like weird specific ones. So low when he would. There we go. Nah, that is fine. Still need the front bumper bracket to move that bumper up. I just had to deal with that for now. These are uh, hot boy problems. Aren't yeah, they? these are these are genuinely hot boy problems. Surprisingly, none of the other cars in the shop do that. I think the four rotor might, right? Um, only when it has its full gear on, but, but we still can pick it up from the fly bottom. It's four inches off the ground. Oh. It dropped down even lower. There we go. There we go. Wow. Yes, sir. Hockey scrape. I like that. My good friend Sean sent us this, almost unsolicited. I was asking for him for something else. Sean took really good care of a friend of mine through an adaptronic thing, and he also sent this. I want to hide this. I want to never see this again. Sean, you're a bad person because you're trying to help Isaiah win with the RX-8. I thought you were my team. You wouldn't even know Isaiah without me. You stay back. I gotta see. I gotta see. No, you don't. So well, I think this is a performance game. Well, this is a more of an entertainment thing. This is, this is for the final goodbye. Okay, then don't run it. Oh shit. Oh, it's the whole, whoa. Oh, shit. oh wow. Okay. He sent everything. He wasn't messing around at all. Sean is your guardian angel you don't deserve. Wow. Okay. Jesus. I'm going to convert to the Renesis so I can run this. <laughs> Sean. Wow, Sean. You are too good to Isaiah. Look at that. They, all the nitrous jets. This is cleaner than, than my stock manifold right now. It's cleaner than the work you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty sick. All we need to do now that's is... Like, that's capable of shooting a shit ton of fuel, because it's fuel uh, and nitrous. That's a wet system. He did all the hard work. The easy part is the bottle and the look, solenoids. Look in there. Look at that. You see that in there? You see that? This is a, he said it's set up for a 275 shot. Whoa. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, my real goal with this, I want to see the engine go expand and the fuel go out of the... I, just, I want the engine to literally blow up. I want it to catch fire. My Enough angle. of that thought. Baby um, step. So you guys oh. will see Sean. Oh wow, he got uh, me a sweater too. Cool. Yeah, yeah, got thank, thank you so much, Sean. You're, you're really the best, Sean. Sean helped me learn a lot at the beginning of my tuning experience. He really helped me get a hang of the Adaptronic at first. And so massive thanks to Sean for all this, the things that he has done to help me. And he sent us... Massive thanks for this badass 
Yeah, these, you, Nitrous you, setup you, because you I'm, you did not deserve I'm going to blow the fuck up out of this engine. 